Uh, my name is Adrian Garcia. I am a local artist here in Phoenix, Arizona, and um, I just made a, uh, I guess you would call it a reinsurgence back to uh, the art world. Three years ago, I saw uh, Danielle do the event, and because of me, you know, kind of coming back from a long hiatus, I was shocked. I was amazed. Uh, all the murals that were going up, the artists, because I come from a time in the 90s where, as far as with aerosol art and all the murals, were, there was only a, a handful of people doing them, you know? So seeing that and being part of that and watching like all the murals go up for her event, uh, introducing myself, you know, to the artists and seeing all the new, even the art supplies from artists and people that I've, you know, that, are, that were new that I met and, and older friends too, that continued throughout many, many years to paint to kind of reconnect with them and stuff. So um, I wanted in. So for me, what worked best was uh, water con uh, conservation. So um, as you can see in my mural, what I'm basically doing, it's uh, water conservation through an ecosystem of insects um, and bugs and stuff, because you can say they conserve water, they, they only use what they need. So I guess in environment, what I'm thinking is, that's what we should be doing as a community they're all gonna be carrying like a little water droplet and just kind of collect, collectively collecting them together for, um, for what they need. There is a decline in, hun in honeybees and as well as ladybugs, a lot of people don't know. I am part of the Love Fights Back um, team. Um, we stand in, in, in solidarity with the group against racism, police brutality, um, anything like that. So I'm part of that group and we have been getting bigger, larger scale walls. So that's cool. It's a, it's a, it's a collective of artists. Um, we basically do murals um, together uh, collectively and we don't sign our names or anything. It's just a process of us creating all together in one space. We're kind of upset. We're kind of upset the way things are going with, with everything in the world right now. You know, with uh, the social uh, injustice and, and in the valley, in the world, and everything else. We just kind of wanted to make, make a stand, you know? I think collectively, we were all thinking of what to do, and um, it was for the uh, the creator of Love Fights Back, um, House Magana, that reached out to me um, and said, hey, you know, um, I got this idea. And he sat down, and I was on board, and I just called a few other artists uh, that I thought they were, um, had the same passion and same vision as us, and we shared it, and we actually uh, put together a project, and it was 100% successful. Uh I go by House One, b Boy House. I was raised in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm here, I'm a letter bender, style writer. I'm a B-Boy uh, hip hop practitioner. I'm a clinical assistant professor at Arizona State University. Uh, and so we out here uh, and I'm part of the Love Fights Back team. The, the term Love Fights Back comes from an MC named Tumex from California. And that's the theme that when all else fails, Love Fights Back. Uh, you know, so the message is love. But you know, it's definitely that time for you know for us to stand up for what's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm originally from Chicago. That's where I started writing, and so <clears throat> I still have connections to family and crew out there. Um, my CMW crew, shout out to them. And so we made the connection through them, uh, and then the rest of the writers. Some of them are crewmates from Furious Styles crew, which we've been here since uh, 1993 in Arizona. And uh, other people are just local writers, local artists. But the cool thing is that a lot of these writers haven't worked together. And so that's part of what we're doing, is bringing people that might not necessarily uh, work together in the past because of different crews or being in different areas. So it's, it's from the community and it's just over, you know, being around in the community for so, much, so many years. Seems like nothing, but to us it's a big deal because that's, that's the name of the game for us, is our name. <clears throat> it's getting our name up. So when, you know, when we ask the writer, like, we don't want any solo names, it's kind of like, what? Like, that's the, that's the whole point of, of why I do this, but it's empowering as far as unity goes. I mean, number one, it's, we're always gonna look for an opportunity and a platform to be able to get this message out, right? And so, uh, <clears throat> when, when there's opportunities like this that somebody else is putting in the work and, and doing the legwork and organizing it and putting it together, uh, and it's building a bridge, right, because, you know, there's a discussion between muralists and street artists and writers and that kind of thing. You know, the theme of sustainability, uh, you know, our, a lot of our work is founded in community. So for us, it's how, how is community sustained? Who are the people? Or the, uh, so that's why you're gonna see a lot of different characters in this. <clears throat> you know, they might represent the paleteros of the block. They might represent, uh, you know, 
the people at the bodega, I mean, they might, all these different people in the communities that we might not, that might be invisible sometimes, right? So that's the other thing, is making the invisible visible, giving the voiceless a voice. You know, obviously, love fights back is the message, but, but within that, it is for, if you believe in something, you know, things like this, now it seems a little bit more normal, right? To see a bunch of people spray painting on a wall. That wasn't always the case. Plant those seeds, really, that's what I'm gonna say. Plant the seeds, water the seeds, it will grow, I promise. I got a, a grandson that's, um, you know, it's very small and, you know, I might, we might not see a lot of changes with racism and things like that, but, but maybe in, in the future, you know, at least for him, you know, uh, we can see these things kind of happen for them. So, so that's really cool. So with that said, you know, we, um, just be, you know, we just wanted to be better people. You know what I mean? Not, not so much us, but just teaching other people. You know, as, as, as artists, we can come together, we can do something collectively and, and put some of our messages um, in, in our murals and stuff um, that have positivity and stuff. And I think a lot of people too, you know, if you weren't out there uh, protesting uh, with, your, with your family um, or your kids or whatever, you know, this is, this is something that people could stand behind, which was the little fight back. You know what? I'm cool with that. I actually like that. I can stand by that. Unity in a community, you know, just uh, if, if you're thinking of, of helping someone out, you know, you're, you're contemplating it, just do it, you know what I mean, whether it's checking in on somebody, you know, a lot of people right now that are, uh, they've been home for almost a year, you know, they rarely even get out.